Umwundt established the first psychology research lab at the University of Leipzig in Germany in 1879, and he was the first to call himself a psychologist. Wundt conducted studies on the elements of consciousness, including sensation, perception and emotions. He also pioneered a research method called introspection, in which his subjects would report detailed description of their own mental experiences. Inspired by Wundt, introspection was also the method used by Edward Titchener, who established a psychological lab at Cornell University. His focus was on the structure of consciousness rather than the process or goals. He therefore used introspection to identify the most basic components or structures of the conscious experience. Titchener's structuralism, however, proved to be an unreliable method of investigation because it was too subjective. In addition, introspection had limited use since it could not be used with children, animals or for complex topics such as mental disorders. William James adopted a different viewpoint and he emphasized studying the purpose or function of behavior and mental experiences. In the view of functionalists, all behaviors, emotions and thoughts had a function, so the goal was not the structure, but to identify the goal. Functionalist views were very much in accord with that of Charles Darwin on physical evolution. While structuralists divided the subject under a study into a set of elements that could be examined separately, Gestalt psychologists focused on how we construct perceptual holes. Max Wertheimer and his two assistants, Kurt Kofka and Wolfgang Kohler, are recognized as the founders of the Gestalt approach. Their focus was on identifying the principles of perception and the conditions under which these principles apply. Gestalt theories are still used to explain perceptual organization. Gestalt psychology has influenced both approaches to psychotherapy and the modern development of cognitive psychology. While structuralists and functionalists focused on the study of conscious experiences, Austrian physician Sigmund Freud focused on unconscious conflicts in determining behavior and personality. In particular, Freud focused on conflicts between accepted norms of behavior and unconscious sexual and aggressive impulses. Freud believed that dreams, slips of the tongue, otherwise known as Freudian slips, and memory blocks all provided glimpses into the unconscious mind. Modern psychodynamic approaches still incorporates many of Freud's landmark theories.